Hey guys, I'm back with another hair tutorial and this will be a continuation of the first one. So if you want to see how I started off this look, then go ahead and check the video right before this. I will leave the link in the description box and this is what um, the look before starts with. So I'm starting with the right side of the head and I'm just taking a chunk of hair from by the ear and I am just twisting and I'm going to add more hair as I go. Casey has very thick hair so the reason I wanted to get so much hair out of the way is just so I had more little small pieces to work with in the end. And then I'm just twisting some from the left side so I'm doing the same thing as the right to the left. But I am instead of meeting in the center I'm meeting into more towards her left side so that way it's a side ponytail. And I've decided to gather these so what I'm going to do is just twist the right more and then twist the left more. And just take a rubber band and I'm just going to rubber band these together so they are nice and secure and this will be the start of our ponytail. And with leaving these pieces without being pulled up and such, leaving this down will make the ponytail look a lot longer and fuller. So I'm just pulling this to make sure all the twists are tight to the head and nice and secure. So. Next, I have all the bottom hair to work with, so what I'm going to do is take another chunk from the right side and I'm just going to take the chunk and split it in half. And once I split it in half completely, I'm just going to twist it around each other and this makes kind of like a rope effect. So I am not adding more hair, I'm just twisting this all the way down. And now I'm going to pull it back over to the left side of the head and just secure it right over the rubber band. So this is going to hide the rubber band so that way we are going to hide pretty much all the pins and um, bands in this look. So it looks very effortless and kind of just so you can't tell where anything starts and ends. So it's kind of just like um, eye candy I guess for your hair. <laughs> So once that is over, I just let the rest unravel and kind of hang out to the side. And I'm going to take another piece from the bottom and I'm just going to add some more to it. And with this, I'm just going to pull over and twist it. And this will go right over where we pinned the twist before this. So I'm just pinning it with the method of pushing it towards the head or lining it up with the head and then pushing it in the opposite direction as the hair is going. This really keeps the hair from um, the pin from moving and I find it works a lot better than a cross pin and you can hide the pin so much easier. So I was thinking about stopping there but then I realized we really need to polish off the ponytail so it's not so messy. So I'm just taking the top piece from the piece um, from the rope braid part and I am just going to wrap this around the ponytail pretty tightly so that way the ponytail has more volume from the tight spot and I'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin that and again I'm just pushing it straight in and then down. But I'm also connecting it to the hair first, putting it on the hair first as you can see here. And then I'm just using the pin to pin it straight down into the ponytail. And then that little piece was just kind of sticking out so I just tucked it under and swept it under the hairs. And now it's all nice and swept to the side and I'm just kind of fixing the top here and there you go. So this look turned out pretty elegant. I actually really love it. Uh, I think it looks very chic and classy and I feel like you could wear this to a formal event and look very nice but also kind of have a cool, you know, warmth tone to it with all the braids and kind of boho feel to it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please subscribe, comment, and like. I'd love to hear all your guys' comments and stick around for some more videos. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.